days are cooler, nights are warmer, and I put the blame on you. Time moves slow, but my heart beats faster. When these eyes are looking right at you, right at you, you give me something to believe in, just what I need in. So I went to the mall today, something I rarely do. Mm. Um, but I got up early to be at the mall for it to open. So I was one of like five cars in the parking lot because I don't, mm. you know, I, don't, I ain't trying to be. A, there were a couple of elderly people there ready to get mm. their walk on. Uh, there were some others, you know, people who work there. But I, mm. I got a spot right at the door because I, I went in there because I'm going to see my mama this weekend. So I was like, okay. I want to get some, pick up some things. So I'm in uh, like the Neiman Marcus because th that's mm. the only store that had the thing that I was looking for. And so I get there and I'm going through all of the stuff and I'm blah, blah, blah. And this lady comes out. She helps me. She's very nice. But the the uh, cost of the thing was expensive, and I knew that they only got commission because I asked. Mm -hmm. You did, yeah. I did. And then these two black ladies came at the next counter, and I was like, hmm. In my mind, I'm I'm confessing this today because it was it was horrible. I feel bad about myself. And I said, should I? I should go over there and see if they can help me so they can get the commission. Mm -hmm. So I walked around, you know, pretended to walk around and I somehow made it there and I talked to them. I said, listen, I want to get this thing. Can you get this thing? I want you to get you get commission, right? Yep. OK, I want you to get the commission. So I'm going to walk around some more and then I'm going to come back, have this thing mm -hmm. for me so you can get the commission. But Roger, as I was walking around, I said, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. How can I deny this woman her commission when that she did the work? Me? Damn. Yeah. Oh, I said, you are being racist. <laughs> in that moment I said what I had to have this I said oh no I was so convicted in that moment Roger because in my How mind dare you know, you? I, Smith listen I, I'm sorry in that moment in my mind I justified I'm like Juneteenth right. reparations right. I ain't giving this I ain't giving this good ass commission to nobody mm -hmm. but a black woman right she black, right so I'm like <laughs> we, we gonna do this right we, I got you I got right. you sisters I got you but I was like that's wrong so I did my little walk like I said I would and I came back and I said listen I'm sorry I can't do it yeah and she 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 laughed she was with another sister because they were both there when i said it right. i said i can't do that to her i just can't i'm i'm not racist and i can't be yeah. racist it feels awful i don't know how y'all racist out there if you're listening i don't know how y'all live with yourselves because right. i had 10 minutes of racism today mm -hmm. and i'm sure i've been racist in other times because it's a power dynamic i could have denied right. that woman commission Right. Out of this sense now, of like. You know, you're going to have people call up and be like, because black people don't have the systemic power of whiteness. No, in that we, moment. We can't be racist. In that and all moment. That stuff. No, in that moment, right. I could have denied somebody commission. Yeah. That's power. Oh, no. Me and you agree, but I just so know somebody's going to. Yeah, someone's going <laughs> right, to call right. up with the dictionary. Well, no, nah, don't be do like, that. if don't you ain't the president, because... you can't be racist. And I'm right, like, no. I don't no, know. But you know what that is? That's like you, that's saying negus instead, you know, that's yeah, like, right. you're, you're making an excuse for your behavior. Right. But it's wrong, right? And I right. knew it was wrong because I felt bad. Right. I said, I can't do this. The lady was nice to she me. She had I done that do work. Right. She did the work. So I went up to the sisters and I said, listen, I can't, I can't do this. And they started laughing. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know why. She said, she brought the thing out. She said, I wrote her, her um, employee ID on the slip so she would get her commission. I oh. couldn't do it. That was nice. I couldn't do it either. And I said, you know what? And we both looked and we were like, we high fived each other because it was like in that moment, the three of us had understood that that was wrong. Yep. She wasn't going to tell me, though. She was just yep. going to ring it up for for me mm -hmm. because she was going to do what I asked her to do. Right. But give that lady her commission anyway. And then I was like, That's I nice. can't do it. Then after I bought it from the lady, she gave me a gift and everything. We had a nice talk. We, you know. I came back and I apologized to them for putting them in that situation. Because mm -hmm. that is their were, coworker. Yeah. Which I, you know, I ain't care at that moment. Right. But in that moment, she said, I understood because you're right. Right. There are people who will never come to our counter. 
Exactly. In this mall, there are people, you know, every day we're experiencing right. this. She, she said, so your, your heart was in the right place. I understood what you were doing, but I couldn't do it to her. And then yeah. you couldn't do it either. So I was just, I was, I was thinking to myself, Roger, cause I was driving home, mm -hmm. you know, no pat on the back, but like how y'all racist be, how y'all feel about this? Call or, up. Or, or, racist do, people. Do, let yeah, us racist, know. <laughs> give us a call. Like it, when you, when you be doing stuff, like, is it so unconscious? Is it so baked <laughs> into your psyche? You know, and someone right you know say well you know but we both arrived at the same conclusion right. it wasn't cultural cultural conditioning it's not yes. like you know because you know i sent her you know i go hard in the paint for right. us but at the same time what it looks like to go hard in the paint for us is not to oppress other people because that know, type of racism takes effort like there's yes. a there's the casual systemic racism of society that takes no effort you know like oh i got a benefit and this black person didn't get the benefit. Well, I'm not gonna make a stink about it. I that I didn't do anything. But then there's that like I'm gonna make sure that the white man gets the money or whatever. Where it's like, yo, y'all do that all the time. That's a lot of work. I don't even it think is. like that. You know, for I had to go part. for a walk. I had to I had to whistle. <laughs> to walk right. around. And, but in that moment, in the in that time with myself, I was like, that's wrong. Like there was right. just this strong voice. That's wrong. You wouldn't want that done to you. It, beyond right. that, it's just wrong. Right. Like right. you shouldn't even have to, you know, put yourself in that situation to know that's wrong. And I think in that also true balance to bigotry is not bigotry the other way. And I think many people have embraced that. And I think you know, it's what people don't understand about Joe Biden's presidency versus Trump's. They want liberal Trump. And it's like, that's actually not what would make the, the office whole again. What makes the office whole again is even if y'all go after my son for doing something illegal, I can't step in and be like, but that's my son. I right. have to be like, no, the rule of the law says this. Right. And right. I have to stick to it. That's the only true equal and opposite to corruption, to bigotry, to favoritism. And, you know, I applaud you for doing that. You know, even don't, that don't applaud me. me don't about applaud me. Being me. Weak. Don't, don't, don't applaud me. Don't <laughs> applaud me. Because the, the initial thought was wrong, you know, and yeah. when we can get to the point where that's not even a thought, right. you know, because it's like I'm always thinking how we can how we can empower ourselves. And in that right. moment, I was going to disempower somebody like well, I, I said. I, I, so wow. the reason the reason I'm applauding it is because the correction is to be applauded, in my opinion, because if I only hit you with well, you was wrong at first. Then it, th there's nothing, there's nothing learned there really. Like, yes, because there's too many people that are, I think out of cowardice would have just stayed wrong. They would like they wouldn't have come back up there and faced a little bit of embarrassment. You know, yeah, even it was embarrassed. I was embarrassed yeah, too. It's a I little embarrassment, like, right? Like to be like, like, dog, I'm I was, a terrible person. Because you also are, you know, taking a chance telling this sister, like, actually, I'm not about to give you that money. And she yeah. could have, she could have flipped the whole other way, like, well, what you, you know, like that's messed up. And so, like, to have that moment of solidarity and stuff, you took a chance. I, I do applaud it because I think, honestly, we need more of that type of change. And obviously not from us, but from the broader society in general. Yes. There's too many people that are just happy to be like, well, I started on the wrong path. Going to ride this thing out. Nah, you can always change. Period. Period. And all you races out there, you can do better. because it. Mm -hmm. And y'all can't feel good because I feel like there's a karmatic something something even if you don't and the thing about karma is you don't necessarily know that right. it's happening to you but right. you your life is, is an example right. of the things that you've probably done if you really sat but so, yeah. we're so unconscious we don't even think about the things doing, we do to other doing people. right by people is just such an inner moral dialogue that you have to have and i mean you can feel it when you're talking to somebody that just don't do right by people and it's like man i i can't I don't, I can't align with you because it's just, they, you, there's something inside of you where I know you'll do me wrong. You'll do all kinds of people wrong if you can get a, some level of advantage out of it. And so, yeah, I, I think, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's feel like it's rare and rare these days to run into people where it's like, nah, you don't, don't screw somebody over that didn't do nothing to you. There's nothing wrong with that. And this is a conversation about Drake and Kendrick Lamar, 866-801-8255, because I think people still don't understand what this beef is about. Right, somebody, right. somebody came into my, my YouTube comments talking about, you know, this is, you know, you people are being being um, prejudiced against, you know, people who aren't born in America against American black. I was like, this ain't an American black. Right. Cool Herc. 
to I said from Cool Herc to Busta Rhymes. This right. has never been about black never. people born other places. We, Slick that Rick. ain't even part of the discussion. Like you don't even right. get it. You don't right. get it. My days are cooler. Nights are warmer. And I put the blame on you. Time moves slow. Just what I needed You're the closest